We welcome you and invite you to get acquainted a little closer with the literature of the 20th century and its representative Mikhail Afanasyevich Bulgakov. Everyone knows that, that Russia is a homeland of a large number of great poets and writers, including Mikhail Bulgakov. Today we will visit the place where the writer lived and worked, a bed apartment number 50. Mikhail Afanasyevich Bulgakov, Russian writer, playwright, director, one of the best authors of 20th century. His plays was a huge success from the mid-1920s, but his novels were only appreciated after his death. Today we would like to give you a short tour of the Bulgakov Museum and tell you about the things that surrounded the writer in the 20s and 30s, what context can be considered here in a bad apartment. We are in the same apartment where Mikhail Fanasevich Bulgakov lived and worked from 1921 to 1924. The process of work was complicated by the atmosphere of the apartment. This was the atmosphere of a communal apartment. Here lived 20 people and 10 rooms, including the writer and his wife. This atmosphere of a communal apartment was strongly reflected in the life and work of Bulgakov. This apartment often appeared in the early works of the writer, as well as in one of his most famous works. The Master and Margarita. Bulgakov himself wrote that anyone who lives at least a year and a half in apartment number 50 will not be surprised by anything else in life. Now we're in the same place where the writer lived and worked. From that time there is very little left here, but some of the objects can illustrate us the stage of his creative path. For example, this bookshelf that once belonged to Bulgakov and may have been filled with his favorite books. Mostly, Mikhail Afanasyevich worked in this room at night. A large number of his works were written here. White God, Notes on Cups, Die Bullet. Next to the shelf you can see a table that belonged not to the writer himself but to his uncle, who was a famous doctor and possibly served as a prototype for one of Bulgakov's character, Professor Prebozhensky. In the autumn of 1921, Bulgakov ended up in Moscow. He had to deal not only with literary affairs, but also equip his life. Therefore, he was firmly connected with work in Soviet newspapers. Mikhail Afanasyevich was ambivalent about this work, since he couldn't always write what he really thought. However, this work was necessary for the writer. It was his main source of livelihood. So during the day, Bulgakov worked in the Soviet press, and at night he worked on fiction in this room. The epicenter of the communal hell of the apartment number 50 can safely be called the communal kitchen. This is a space in which the tenants of the apartment regularly meet, and there were 20 of them with different characters, ideas about education, upbringing and life. That's why disputes and even fights often took place in this kitchen. In this room, kitchenware of the time have been preserved, including a camp stove, the item of which was used for cooking, heating the room and which caused a fire in this very apartment in the Master and Margarita. It is also worth mentioning that Bulgakov often took the prototypes in his works from real life. So, for example, Anushka, a character in several works, including the Master and Margarita, was a neighbor of Bulgakov. We are in the living room. This room has retained a certain homely atmosphere of the communal life. The surrounding of this room immerses us in the atmosphere of the house of the Tubin family, from the noble, the white god. 
This is a lampshade that should never be removed. Faust's music notation, Grim Curtains. The novel The White God will play a huge role in the life of the writer, since it was the basis for the play Days of the Tribunes. The play that shone on the stage of the Moscow Theatre, the play that made a reputation for Bulgakov. It became his hallmark. Now we are in the entrance of a bed apartment number 50, the walls of which are filled with numerous graffiti. On them you can see the famous characters of Bulgakov's works beloved by many people. The beautiful Margarita, the cat Bigimot, favorite lines of fans of the works, wishes, parting words. Everyone can write or draw something on these walls. Next to the museum. There is the Bulgaka Theatre, which you can visit and see on stage performances of your favorite works by Mikhail Afanasyevich Bulgakov. At the entrance to the theatre, there is a monument to a bronze couple, Karovev and Begimod, famous characters from the novel The Master and Margarita. Today we got to know a little about the life and work of Mikhail Afanasyevich Bulgakov. We saw the place where he lived in Moscow, recognized the characters of his works. I hope that our tour allowed you to mentally transport yourself to that very bad apartment and feel this atmosphere. And remember that art is long and life is short.